That is a stunning piece of wood. I would have never thought in a million years that that would so have ended go. up coming out. I don't even see it very well because the it's so shiny the uh, lights reflect off of it. But So this is the project, um, I'm calling it my prehistoric bowl as you can see from the title. The reason being is because um, it's old, chunky and rough around the edges just like me. So. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, nothing else to say really, it's failed, no good, <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week, fresh new project, one that works, and take care, speak to you soon, and bye for now. Welcome to another Sunday Lunchtime Live. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's absolutely heaving it down, rain outside today, absolutely pouring down. So, hope everybody is well. Hope you all had a great weekend. Um, thanks to everybody who came over on Friday night to support the Battle of the Makers. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a bit of a fun time and a bit of a laugh like we did. So, as I put in the description on uh, Facebook this morning, everybody at the moment are turning snowmen, so I don't want to do a snowman. So I had a play with this earlier, um, and I'm going to do a snow lady, snow woman, whatever you want to call it. But this is what we're going to do. This is no colour on this, but we're going to give it a little bit of colour, and I'll do a little carrot for the nose. So this was just a quick one I did this morning. So this is what we're going to play with. Um, I've got a piece of newel post. Um, I believe it's around about four inches square. I will check it. Just under 95 mil. So it's just under four inches square. A uh, piece of pitch pine, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's good enough for this. So, as you can hear, I've got my lovely wife in the background preparing the pitch. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so, this is what we're going to do. Um, like I say, this one, this piece is slightly bigger, because when I did this, I struggled to get the height I wanted and hold it in the chuck. So, I've cut this one just not too much, only about a half inch bigger, but should be enough just to give us a little bit of... Uh, more scope to play with and um, I don't want to cut it off or part it from the, the lathe until I've coloured it that's the plan so um, uh, that's what we're going to do so I'll get this centred in between centres uh, and Nick will go through the chat and let me know who's in the chat now oh yeah it'd be lovely thank you oh, a bit busy sorry <laughs> right hello everybody Right, we have on Leroy 500, we have Barry, no we don't, yeah, Barry's Wood Turnin, Wood Wizardry by Colin, Paul Lockwood, John S, John Mooney, 
Colin Izzard, Mark Pritchard, Alan H is for Alan Andy H is for turning, uh, Mike Midnight Joker, Robert Nye, um, Hodgepodge, Mark the Gentleman Wood Turner, Mike U, Circular Wood by Keith, Barry's Wood Creations, Neil Gould, Robert Dolman, um, Terry from TJ Turnan, Di Prout and Gareth from GD Woodworks. We also have YV Woodshed, uh, Tommy's Workshop, Richard RJK Spinning Wood. And if I've missed, oh, Dad's on. Oh, he's now Richard B B U H T O N <laughs> instead of Benton. He's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> he will get his name right one day. I'll have to. I'll have to sort that out for him. Bless he him. will do. Bless him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think. Oh, ghost. Go, <laughs> That's what I've lost my moose. Ghost wolf is on as well. Did you say Barry uh, from Wood Creations as well? Yes, I did. Yes. Don't right. interrupt. Oh, Douglas Mungham. I missed him. Sorry, Douglas. I think I've got everybody now. If I haven't, I apologise. Welcome to. Steve's Sunday lunchtime live. Well, it's not just Steve's now, is it? It's Steve and the Steve and Nikki show. <laughs> Steve and his better half, it should be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> When's she coming? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Father Christmas ain't coming to you, I told you that. <laughs> You're too naughty. Too naughty. Right, so. What's your language today, please? Okay. So, let's get some safety glasses. Let's get this rough round. And uh, get it sorted. Wait a minute, Brent Beecroft is on as well. Good afternoon, Brent. I hope everybody is well. hope everybody has had a great weekend. Christine and Michael Hesseltine, welcome to the chat. Good afternoon, Christine and Michael. Hope you are both well. So. Sorry, get... Leap and Lima's on as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're all popping on while you. <laughs> miss me, miss me. Mm -hmm. So we'll get this rough round, or rounded off, with a rough and gouge. Um, what like piece say, of wood is it? It's a piece of pitch pine, so it's quite soft. Um, I expect a little bit of tear out because, again, it's pine, but I'm hoping that we can get a rough shape without... Why is it dark if it's pine? Because it's been stained. Oh, right. This was a newel post. It was a, off a staircase I changed. Uh, we, we we changed it from pine to oak. I wonder and... where ours had gone. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> <laughs> and this I brought it home because it's too good, basically, to burn. So uh, I thought I'd bring it home and use it for practice pieces. So we can uh, burn it. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> <Monty>. might be. <laughs> so I, I expect a little bit of tear out, but we're going to try and get it as good as we can get it. And then we're going to give it some colour and we'll make a snow lady. So I'm going to rough this out. When did you buy my last lot of flowers? Was it in the week? Not this week, last week. Was it last weekend? Yeah. Yep, I had flowers last weekend and they last as lovely. They are beautiful. But if they do die, I will definitely be after another lot for over Christmas. Because they're just beautiful colours. Hint, hint. Trouble is, that's hard to wrap flowers for Christmas. <laughs> they are nice though. It's bit expensive, but I'm worth it. <laughs> Play my own drum, but no one else does. You're worth it. You're worth that one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. You left the price tag on, so I know they weren't one ninety nine. So, as always, guys, if there's any questions, please put a Q or question before your question. Q. So Nick knows to uh, ask. Nearly, not quite. Hello, Rob CP. Hello, oh. Door Sixty. I always get door. I always what I call Door Sixty Ben. That's wrong, isn't it? Andy. Yeah, I always what I call him Ben for some reason. We'll rechristen him, shall we? Yeah, let's rename him Ben. Let's call everybody Ben. Be easier. Paul just said, I like Paul. He just said, a good excuse to not wrap the um, is to just give them to you every Sunday morning. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so one more I think, I think we'll be there. Got a little bit left. Oh, nearly. Colin Wood Wizardry said he has a question. Go on then, Colin. What size is that roughing gouge? I think it's three. Whoops, three quarter. I think. I will measure in a second. So, oh, it's an inch, 25 mil. 25 mil across you there. You didn't measure it, and you know you didn't it. <laughs> 25 mil across there. So, it's an inch rough and gouge. So, just nip this up a little bit. Mark too. Pritchard said, question, is Maker Central going to take place next year? Mm, this is the question on everybody's, on everybody's lips. Um, if things carry on the way they're going, I personally can't see it going ahead. Because I personally think we'll be in another lockdown in January after the Christmas period, but hopefully we won't be. But we're just going to have to wait and see and see what happens, aren't we? So I'm going to go for rough proportions the same as this. So Douglas Mangum said, hashtag flowers for Nikki. <laughs> More flowers for Nikki. Um, Richard asked if you got me my poncetta yet. No. A what? Poncetta. Oh, that's plant. one of those red plants, isn't it? Yeah. Um... Cheat. I'm going to use the same measurements as I used earlier. Greg Alexander's on. Hello, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hope you're well. You can probably hear my phone keep vibrating. It goes on for ages. So, what we'll do is we'll turn the top so we can get it in the chuck first to give us a better hold. Turn part of the hat down. Face, the head, shall we say? So, um, Mark Pitchard said, Can't plan anything at the moment the way things are going, just hope things get better. Hopefully. And Richard from RJK said, Not unless they can hold it outside. I won't be able to do that, would they? No, I can't see. I, I don't know. I hope it does go ahead because. Like I say, I've got a hotel booked. Tickets are all there. It's just, mm. and it'd be nice to meet up. Be nice to get back together with some guys. Welcome so, to um, Wooden on the chat. Who, and sorry? Wooden. Hi, Wooden. And Georgie Ann. Georgie Ann. I think I've got Wooden's Ann's name on here. Wooden. Dennis is Wooden. Good morning, Dennis. Another Dennis. So just nip that a bit loosely. So we've got a nice secure hold now. And she ain't going anywhere. So we can get some rough shaping done. So, Bailey Woodworks. Who, sorry? Bailey Woodworks. That must be Bailey. 
Um, right, I'm going to be using spindle gouges for this. So I'll start off, I think this is a half inch spindle gouge, just to rough some of this out. People can't believe we're not having a roast Christmas day. No, you're not listening to me. Why? What do you mean? Well, because the girls don't want to roast, do they? Cause... No. We have a roast every Sunday, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people go, oh, the Christmas roast is different. Not really. So I'm just going to curve this out a little bit, which will be a scarf. Right, Rob CP has said, can you give a shout out for Doug Miller's YouTube channel? He's just started and he's an awesome turner. Doug Miller? Yep, there you go. Look out for Doug Miller's YouTube channel. Yeah. Is Mark in the chat? He is. If Mark's so kind, if he's got a chance to put um, the link in for his Find channel. Find the link, yep. Um, Jappy's on, Jappy Makes. Hi Jappy, how you doing sir? Congratulations on the change, name change of the channel. So it's just using, just trying to get the shape of the head so we can uh, get some detailing done. I always struggle with the head of a snowman because of, um, obviously part of the head needs to be inside the hat so I always sort of get the proportions wrong for some reason. Yeah, why well, have a snowman hat made it back in the house? Oh, he's Where on the he? bench. He's on the bench. He's put his hat back on. Scott from Leap and Lima said, so no chance of a funnel today. No, not today. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to try and put a little bit of an undercut on the hat. Just so we can get tied up into the back there. Let's just get the. We'll oh. Get, we'll just get the. Did uh, a tee. We'll get the uh, scarf and that done, and then um, <sighs> we can always reshape the head a little bit. So I need to take some of this off of here. That's the only trouble with pine. It splits if you're not careful. Gently scooping that up. I know people are saying that's not, you know, obviously the shape of a snowman should be two balls or two round spheres. But um, like I said, everybody's doing snowman at the moment, so I thought I'd do something totally different. Robert Dolman said Christmas funnel, lol. <laughs> uh, Jackie said thank you. You're welcome. 
Mark Pictures asking what's on everyone's Christmas list. Welcome to the channel, Barry Fisher. <laughs> they ain't got a lot of faith in you. Well, what's that? Barry Fisher put could lose its head. Douglas Mungham said, off comes the hat, lol. Say again. Douglas Mungham said, off comes the hat, lol. <laughs> Colin said, should undercut the skirt too. Yeah, I am going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Jeffy. It's getting there a little bit closer. Because this spindle gouge is so narrow, a little bit of vibration for it. So, let's try and get in there with a quarter inch bulb of spindle gouge. And is when you do share cuts on that's when you get your um, tear out so I'm trying not to do too hard a share cuts really Mark's tried to find, find Doug's channel but can't find it all right okay who who asked to show it out I think it was Rob CP Rob CP can you message myself or Mark with um, the link and we'll stick it in the chat right so let's get so this is going to be the skirt so we'll just sort of take it down for the legs Douglas said, "If you if you undercut the skirt, the legs will come off long." <laughs> so, what do you want Father Christmas to bring you, Steve? Um, nothing really. I've got everything I need, Blech. other than a slimmer body. And he and he knew something about that. <laughs> um, don't know really. Well, I had no free list. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose everybody's the same. That when you're our age. If you want something through the year, you buy it anyway, so... Uh, and then hide it from the wife. And then, yeah, and hide it from the wife. And then when they come in, say, oh, I've had that ages. Like me and my clothes. <laughs> no, I don't buy your... I don't wear your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say. Right, so just going to curve that a little bit. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of an undercut underneath there so let's move cameras so you can see can you see that oh you can't really see that but you might be able to see as i'm doing it on the other side so i'm just going to put a little tiny undercut on there Nothing major, just a little tiny undercut, just so that gives it a little bit of a character, as they say. So we're just going to cut this off, well, I'm going to shrink this down where we're going to part it. Right, I think um, Mark's now put the link on for... Doug's channel, so. So, gentlemen, or ladies and gentlemen, should we say, go over and check out Doug's channel. A lot of these have um, said what they've asked for Christmas. Go on, tell us Colin it. said, um, Colin from Wood Wizardry said, wife's getting me a bowl tool rest, a 
from Nick Tizzle and possibly a Brandon Iron. Nice. Um, Mark Preacher said, wife got me handmade weather vane in the design of a log, then two tools, then a bowl. Haven't seen it yet. That'd be nice. Barry Fisher said, bowl cora. Jimbo's on. Hello, Jim. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Um, Benjamin, hi all. Just come back from food shop and forgot to get a joint of meat. I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Ben. Hope you're well. Right. So, head proportion. I think we just need to lose a little bit off the top, I think. Um, Barry's wood turn and said new lathe. I don't know if he's got it in it or if he's on his list. <laughs> Hodgepodge said maybe Sunday salads instead of roast for Steve. Believe it or not, he don't eat that much. He just eats the wrong thing, really. Lack of exercise. If I was back at work, I wouldn't be his problem. If I was work full time... <laughs> Douglas said I've got to get you an anti-funnel jig. Yeah. <laughs> Is there such a thing? If there was such a thing, we'd be rolling in it. <laughs> Listen to this. Robert Nye said, Is Steve allowed in the workshop on Christmas Day? I'll let you answer that. I'm allowed. I just don't want to get no, in. No. Yeah, right. That is a big fat no. That is one day he's not allowed. This is why there'll be no live on Friday night of Christmas Day. He will be allowed out for a little bit, maybe Boxing Day morning. Ooh, and then so he'll have to be in the house again after lunch because we've got family coming. You're so kind. Um, Jappy said, An electric coffee grinder. Round that off just a little tiny bit. A little bit of splinter in there, so. Steve, you'll have to sub to Doug after you've done your live, won't you? I will. I will. I certainly will. So, I think we've got our rough shape. Oh, uh, I was trying oh, to move the camera back. Um, sorry. John Mooney said Santa needs to bring me a Laguna BX14 bandsaw, but Mrs. Santa said, mm -mm -mm -mm. is there <laughs> anything else? <laughs> That's one thing that I really do need is a better bandsaw. The bandsaw I've... Oh, sorry. Hang on. Hang on. The, wood, the bandsaw I've got is a, a little hobby bandsaw. It's not really man enough to do what I needed to do. I can never get... A, don't matter how you set the goal... The, the roller... The guide system on it's not the best. It's like pinch grips and they're not the best. And it's not really designed to try and cut what I try and cut out of it. Um, so that's my that's my main challenge next year is to get save up enough to buy a better bandsaw. All right. Um, wood dude, wood dude is on. Right, wood dude. Um, I mean, you can read some of these anyway, you know. Di said, needs a bigger workshop. Yeah, I need a bigger workshop. Paul Lockwood, I think my wife is getting me a bigger jumper. <laughs> yeah, that's about right, Paul. That's Neil about said, right, Paul. <laughs> new computer for live streams. Yeah. <laughs> Midnight Joker said, Santa must hate all these, um... Makers humping all these heavy tools down the chimney. <laughs> well, I'm just going to clean up the the, the mm. scarf a little bit because it's a bit chipped out. <laughs> it makes you change from socks. <laughs> Try not woodworks with Bobby Gannon's on. Hello. Hi, right, Bobby. How you doing, sir? Um. That's better. Still got a little bit of a nick out of there. So right, just... Mike Yu said he was very lucky to get an Axminster craft plane at thickness of a Christmas and birthday combined. Nice. Um, Doug Miller wants to know. Oh, he's changed his name. Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round. Ooh. Does YouTube limit how many videos he can upload each day? No. No, you can you can do um, you can do them a minute long, an hour long, a day long. There's no limit to what you can and can't do. What do you know what your dad said he's asked for Christmas? What? A new woman. <laughs> Obviously, Lynn's not watching it as well. <laughs> Paul Lockwood said camera. Right, so we've got a shape. He makes me laugh. Who? <laughs> your dad. What? His name. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it. What's he put now? That's B-U-H-T-O-N. Oh, man, he's a pain in the backside. <laughs> He must have learned how to do it, so he's a bit all right. He can change it now. Right, so let's get this sanded up. Um, like I say, I got a little bit of tear out on it because it's obviously soft. So we're going to sand from 100 
through, but I don't want no major pressure because it's gonna it's quite soft. So we'll turn our lathe down and we'll get it rough sanded, put some extraction on. He can't cope with the woman he's got, let alone having a new one. <laughs> what he means as well. All right, so. Some nice ideas on there. I will have a look. Just give me a minute. What? Oh, on the chat. No, some nice ideas of um. Oh, gifts. Gifts. Yeah, I'm going back because I've just been reading. Georgianne said it's nice to see you turning a common species of wood. All types of lumber have increased in price by as much as forty percent. Oh, but yeah. worse is that any blanks and turning stock is getting very hard to find locally. Well, I try to do things like this. You I mean, at the end of the day, I've got loads of hardwood sitting over there. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a demo project. And, I mean, at the end of the day, I try and do it where people might have stuff like, I mean, if you had a piece of 4 before lumber laying around, a piece of soft pine, there's no reason why you couldn't turn this out of a piece of soft pine. Um, okay, yes, it's not going to be the best finish in the world because it is a soft pine. But it's a demo piece, so um, just use what we got. It hasn't always got to be good quality, you know, the most expensive piece of wood you can buy. And I've done quite a few projects where I've had, I've used wood that actually looks atrocious from the fire pile, and it's just nice to be able to use something that, if you mess it up, it doesn't matter. And again, it's all about. If it doesn't come out right, it's about practicing with tool control. And the more tool control... Need to change your camera. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm looking at your back. Sorry, I only just read Paul Lockwood's message. I was just checking my phone. Um, Richard, RJK, said they're not doing presents this year. Boo-hoo. Douglas Mungham said he would really, really like a fairly good lathe, but that is not going to happen. Lack of funds. It will come. Oh, I said he picked up his Christmas present direct from Sorby, so Santa can't can stop complaining. <laughs> right, so. Uh, do you know what? I do this every single time. I move it down so it goes too far down. Get excited, um, then. So that's 100. Ben said, does anyone here have an airbrush that came with its own little compressor? Are they beefy enough to give a few puffs to clear out chips from a hollowed piece? Mm, I don't know personally. Um, I've got one up here. Let me just grab it and I'll show you. Um, they're not the best in the world. Uh, but for the price you pay for them, if I get it off the shelf, um, blow the dust off of it. This is the one I bought eBay special, I think it was about 23, 24 quid. Um, does the job perfect. The only thing you've got to be careful of is when you stop using it to like move it or refill it, obviously this builds up a little bit of pressure. So when you press this to engage, this is not a, um, a lot of good airbrushes. You've got, when you push it down, you get your air and then you pull it back to flow, the control your flow of color. Um, the actual control on this is not very good at all. And um, if, you, if you're not careful, if you leave it uh, going while you're changing the colour, when you pull the air back or the flow of air colour back, you'll get an automatic massive rush of air and you end up with a big splatter. So if you're going to do it, do it away from your piece first and then bring it over to your piece. But for 25 quid, they do the job. Um, Jappy says, my wife will have a fit if I say more tools because she bought me a bit this year. 
Um, I think that's why we are getting so much rain this year, because normally she refused to buy me tools. <laughs> Um, Mike Dew's popped on, he said he can't stay, but just thought he'd say hi to everyone. Hi Mike, how are you? Hope you're well. Um, Wooden said he got his Christmas in November, new heart. Oh, blimey, well, go. That's a bit extreme. I hope it's working well. Baz is on, for real simple things. Hi, Baz. How you doing, mate? Baz has been making some really cool Christmas decorations lately. On, um, or Christmas tree decorations, shall I say. All right, 2.40. Chisky Wood Creations. Um. Good afternoon, sir. That's Patrick. So last door take is up the four hundred? Yeah, I should do really if I'm gonna colour it. Right, last one then four hundred. Let's quickly sand it up to four hundred. Um, Hodgepodge said he bought himself a, I don't know how to pronounce that, S, S, S T I H -S, is it still? Still, yeah, skill. M S 311 for Christmas. Wife doesn't know, so I'll have to say Santa bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do nothing like that. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you put, you've been putting a lot of presents under the tree. I think they've all got your late name on them. I've been putting on my own tree, <laughs> presents under the tree. You've been putting them under and putting your name on them. Yeah. Well, so you can't complain then, because <laughs> Father Christmas brought them for me. <laughs> right, let's just part this off. Slightly undercut this. I'll nib it, and then um, just finish it off with a gouge. do. Should be able to snap that off now. Move that out of the way so I don't smack my elbow on it. In the bin. So let's just get a bowl gouge and finish that nub off on the bottom. I'll slightly undercut that so that should sit nice and flush. Change the camera so you guys can I see. I've done that a bit with the potatoes. Potatoes. <coughs> That's what you can have a dinner tomorrow as well, can't you? Oh, I'm allowed to eat tomorrow. Thanks. Just gently undercut that. Just use the heart. Uh, three eight bowl gouge just to undercut that a little bit. So we have our rough shape. So we'll do some colouring. Um, I think I'm going to do, do I do the jacket red or do I do the jacket blue and the scarf red? What do you reckon, Nick? Sure, I'm counting. Oh, are you careful? Do the what, did you say? Do I do the jacket blue and the scarf red? It's a lady. The... You don't want blue. So what colour then? Purple. Purple jacket. 
Talk to me. Gold jacket. Silver jacket. I don't know. Grey jacket. I need to take these potatoes and I'm going to have to come back. So you're going to cause grief and then go? Just sand that bottom bit. I'm doing red jacket. Baz said can't fit an extension under a tree. <laughs> Hodgepodge said it looks like a witch. <laughs> you should meet some of the women I know, mate. Oh. <laughs> right, so red jacket. I'm doing red jacket. So ruby red. Take my glasses off now. Ruby red jacket. Do I spray it? What do you reckon? Do I spray? No. Uh, what am I doing? Gloves. Right, I'm going to just take these in quickly. So, get my gloves on, do a bit of red, actually no, I think I'm going to paint it on, that'd be better, paint it on, get a bit more control, so give it a good shake, da, 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 da. So these is the Hampshire Sheen Intrinsic colours I'm using. So I'm not going to go too close because that will bleed up. So Don't get up on the fire. Sorry. If you want to, don't oh, drop to hot ash over the floor again and set light to the workshop. <laughs> right. Oh, God, that's cold out there. Hair yeah, Hodge probably said, not Nikki, I hope, when you said about witch, does I take it? No, I never call my wife a witch. You do. <laughs> You're such a liar. Not in front of you, anyway. Phone's vibrating in my pocket. Right, so so let's just bring this as close to the scarf as I can get it without it blending in. to make too much on my brush because uh, that will bleed because it's soft that I bleed into the other one. Oh, I should have made another coffee, shouldn't I? What's in the chat, anyway? I'm just tech, texting, just wait a minute. Alright, so that's... Red. They're talking about converting like um, pews and that from churches that they've been getting rid of and stuff. So cam top camera you need, Steve. Let's just see it. See if you'd have been watching. You know, I know. Shut up. Just can't get the stuff. I'm changing my mind, Mark. Perhaps you might be my best airworm. <laughs> <laughs> Started to change my opinion. <laughs> um, Richard R J K spin and just said he was cleaning his phone and he thinks he might have reported someone. Sorry, <laughs> don't know what that means. Your dad said you want him to bring you a bigger brush. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't want to. Is that okay? Red. It's red. Looks it's like red. burgundy on here. That'll change colour a little bit once. Um, it's got a bit of sand and cedar over it. So, I'm going to leave the face natural L. So I need Mark's to... just put, can't get the star face. Eh? <laughs> Here's my water. 
Let's wash my brush out. Paul said, oh dear, what is Steve getting for dinner now? <laughs> <laughs> Poison. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of sand and sealer in this. Lot. I'm actually going to sand and seal the head so I don't get no and, uh, and um, the legs. So I'm just going to sand and seal those so we don't get no bleed through on that. Just stir it, shake it. I'm going to do it with a brush so I can get a nice neat line in there. That's good. I must try honey with these parsnips. I keep every time I do them, and I don't think to put honey in them. Mm. You like honey, don't you? Yeah. It's honey. It's honey. So this should stop the colour bleeding from the hat. The well, you black. swore. You're not allowed to swear. <laughs> We'll do the legs the same. I'm hoping it's going to stop a bleeding in. Oh, we've got a gentleman called Bill on. He's from Alabama. Oh, hello, Sweet Bill. Home. No, don't do it, Nick, 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 please. Don't do it. What was it? I do apologise for that. Right, I'm going to make you watch a chick flick tonight now for keep me picking on me. That's all I could do with sleep. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Yesterday was a long day, wasn't it, mate? Mate, I need to apologise to Dr. Bob if he's in. He invited me to the uh, Detroit Woodturn and group for a demo with Carl Jacobson and I came we, we had to be out early yesterday to go to uh, just be careful what you say. to travel to collect something for one of the girls for Christmas and um, we was out at crack of dawn and by the time we come back I was absolutely exhausted with the driving and I just fell asleep on the sofa it was nearly 9 o'clock by the time I woke up so I just, you smelt the food yeah I, I just <laughs> need to I, what do you mean man I was gone Right, so scarf. What can we do in the scarf? We, we've got a, a yellow or a light red. I'm going to have to just peek my head around and have a look. Cause... Obviously, you're going to do the hat black. I ain't red, it's dark. That is ruby red. Why giving her... She needs a scarf and a hat to match colours. Right, so what colour? Grey. Silver. I, I ain't got grey. I haven't got silver. We're using intrinsic colours. Right, so what colours have you got? Don't keep speaking to me like that. Yellow, burnt orange, flame red, sky blue, midnight blue. Show me the blues. The front of it. And the other one. Should she have blue, red and blue? Oh, it's too dark. What? Colour the black hat then. You do a black scarf, I suppose. No, not a black scarf. You give her a knitted scarf, like my one over there. <coughs> you could knit a scarf like you did before. <laughs> Jesus, hard work, I tell you, it's hard work. Anyway, we'll do the hat while we're thinking about it. Colin said yellow. I want a bright scarf. Yep, we are in Norfolk, Paul. Good old Narfuck. Can you tell with the accent, can you? Bill said, what um, sanding sealer are you using? Uh, for this one, I'm using the Chestnut Products Sand and Sealer, the Cellulose Sand and Sealer. But what I will do, once I get all the colours on, um, I will give it a spray over with the spray sealer so we don't get the colours to bleed by giving them a... Oh, a lot of people have said yellow. What, for the scarf? Yeah, I think for the scarf, not the hat. <laughs> Nikki shoes to match. 
<laughs> Sorry. Paul Lockwood, why did you ask about um, where were you in Norfolk? Just you know, wants to know where to keep away from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't go Norfolk. Mm -hmm. The Cavells live in Norfolk, can't go there. I ain't got no broccoli. Why have I got no broccoli? Is that multiple choice? Can I phone a friend? Better check my Tesco's receipt. Oh, I'm just going to be really careful under here now. Your dad's put rose, garf, green, hat, black band. <laughs> Has he been drinking? Then <laughs> <laughs> the old... Flash. <laughs> It's you, it's after dinner, I suppose. Sorry, Mark. Oh, I'm getting told off again by Mark. Why? Left me there. Is he telling you had to be an air one? Oh, man. I need to clean these nozzles out because they're a bit blocked, I think, some of these nozzles. You haven't missed that demo, apparently. Haven't I? Apparently it's today. Oh, even better then. What time oh. is it? I know it's one thirty their time, so it's about six thirty our time. Oh, better get tea on early then. Oh, I thought it was yesterday. You did. Oh, it's made me feel better now. I felt guilty when I woke up last night. You normally set your phone for everything, so. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of a nick in there and put a... Not me. No, let that dry. Then I'm going to put two little lines in that. And hopefully we can get the lines a different colour. So, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Get another little tub. Yeah, 13th of December, you banana. Oh, so that's today. That's even better. Look. Yeah, all right, I will check in a little bit. Right, so we'll put a bit of honey on the... Scarf for the scarf, shall we say? Not on the scarf or the scarf. So just make sure my brush is clean from the black. So just do the scarf in yellow. Hodgepodge said sounds like right after his premiere at six o'clock. Yeah, I think they do a talk about. You put um Half link on for his premiere. Um yeah. Basher. If you can. Oh. She's throwing the orders about now, Mark. Well, we like to help each other, don't we? It's absolutely lashing it down outside, I can hear it through the roof. So there's the yellow for the scarf. Paul said he used to live um just inside Suffolk on the A one forty at Rockford, just south of Dis and I, you know Dis and that well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 Dis. Um, we live um, between Kingsland and Wisbeach, so we sort of we're on the we're on the Cambridgeshire yeah border. Norfolk Cambridgeshire border really. We our neighbours who live literally over the road are cast as <laughs> classed as Cambridgeshire <laughs> and have a different postman to us, and we're Norfolk. Well, Norfolk. We have a Norfolk address, but we speak telephone number. I'm just going to dry that because that's a Don't little we? bit. Yes, we do. We do. Dry. Just dry this up history. a little bit. All very confusing, to say the least. I think what I might do, I might give the red coat a little bit of gold gill cream to make it look Christmassy. What do you reckon? Sorry, say again. I may give the um, the jacket a bit of gold gilled cream to make it Christmassy. Yeah, because um, Midnight Joker says it looks like a traditional well a woman in a traditional Welsh dress. Well, I've got to go back up because I've been a bit naughty and missed. Um, um, Jappy's asked what's happened to your watch. You've changed the band on it, haven't you? 
Yeah, I've changed changed the 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 strap other strap. I was irritating my wrist for some reason, and I I changed the strap on. That's all. Neil Gould said he had some wonderful holidays on the broads on a boat. That was something we wanted to do this year. We won't have a day on the broad, but um, with oh. COVID and that, we couldn't do Unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, we couldn't. Right, Sorry. so I'm just going to put actually sand and seal first, or then dirt. Um, do it after I sand and seal. So, hope you have a brolly for Nikki. <laughs> Mark said. Don't need to, mate. She's got a. There's a carport between. Oh the yeah, we've got. Yeah, we're very lucky. Steve built this massive carport. So, um, in front of the garage is this massive carport. So between the house and the garage, you don't get wet. Between get me getting out of the car, I don't get wet because I'm. I have privilege of place to park my car under it. So. Well, if that's clear, we can get both the cars under it. But it's not yeah. clear at the moment. So. Bill put, we speak proper English in Alabama. Proper. Proper. Proper English. That's better. That's a nice tight line now. That was a bit spitty spotty and I didn't like it. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dry this off with the heat gun. Because putting on with the brush, you put quite a bit on. That's quite thick and just dry off a little bit. And then we'll uh, give it a coat and sand and sealer. And then I'm going to put two little lines in the hat. And we're going to put um, a couple of yellow band lines in the hat. The top of the hat's not done yet. Obviously, we can we can uh, colour that once we get it off. But I like say mainly colour this, or sorry, dry this. Colin said, "Wow, Steve's using a carbide." <laughs> yeah. To be honest, Colin, for the first year of turn, that's all I ever did use. I, I don't use uh, traditional tools to start with. So, uh, right, that's dry now. So, we'll give that a coat of. Um, I'm using chestnuts, or chestnut, shall I say, Cedalo Sand and Sealer for this, which is nearly empty by the sounds of it. Just put this you got another one in your stock? I have. I was going to say. So, just give, I'm just going to turn this on slow. Just give it a slight coat. Can you criticise me about what I keep in? Spray up a skirt. Ooh. Just dry that off a little bit with the heat gun. Don't get in the heat gun too close because that will blister. Um, Barry would turn and says he's still using carbide. Yeah, they're, they've got the uses. I use them quite a bit when I'm using resin, to be honest, because I don't like ruining my um, traditional tools on the resin. So let's just gently dry that off, that'd be enough. Like I say, not too close because uh, that will blister the sand and sealer if you're not careful. I can't be bothered to peel these carrots. Well, at least take the mud off of them. No, you can have the stalk and everything. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a couple of little band lines in her hat. Just make it look pretty. I've never hurt anyone. So we'll just put one in there. One in there. Let's put a little band around the bottom of her dress as well. Just like that. Oh, I missed a bit. We go a little bit deeper with the one around the hat. Um, Bill said he's got a buddy from the UK and they're constantly correcting each other's other in the correct use of English. <laughs> Richard from our JK Spinningwood said, Steve, so Steve's traditional tools are carbides. They were originally. <laughs> Benjamin said it looks like Mr. Ben in a dress. 
Colin <laughs> ah. ah. from Woodwizardry said, to be honest, I prefer using carbides mainly because I'm hopeless at sharpening on my cheapo grinder. Yes, uh... It's like anyway, it's getting used to it, mate. And Richard said, are you trying to tell us something, Ben? Oh, um, Klondike Craftsman's on. Oh, Lewis, how you doing, sir? Lewis, that's it. He's come back for his victory lap from Friday night, that's what it is. Barry's Woodturn said he's going to try and do a bowl using normal tools next week. Yeah, you should do, mate. It's just practice. Practice, practice, practice. She uh, not yellow on there. No, not yet on there. Bit of gold in there. Chucking it down again out there. Chucking it down. Chucking it down. Training cats and dogs. All right. So let's just gently put a little bit of sand and sealer over that. Let's just dry that out a little bit. Not going to put nothing in the band there because I'm going to put some gold guild cream over the dress or the dress jacket coat, whatever you want to call it. So that will um, stand itself out. She got buttons. 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 Got to do buttons with it. So let's get the guild cream out. I don't know. I've just got the idea. Got... So I'm going to be using. Chocolate just buttons. Chestnut Guild Cream uh, Gold for this. So we're just going to get a bit on a bit of tissue. Robert Dom said maybe it's a flower grader in drag. <laughs> <laughs> so just a little bit on the cloth, don't need a lot. Colin said it was a very close win on Friday. It was a very close competition on Friday. Bailey Woodwork said, I may make a video on how to grind additional tools that looks really bad but works. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Preacher said, it looks like a beef eater doll. Beef eater? Yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? it looks like a beef eater. I could take it and show Elizabeth when we go around there for tea Christmas time. <laughs> Elizabeth, enjoy. Try and rub this in the band so we get a bit of gold in the band, really. Ian in the shed zone. Hi, Ian. How you doing, sir? So take that up to there. So I'm just going to rub that buffer out. Try Not Woodworks with Bobby wants to know, can you spray lacquer over the chestnut gilt cream? Yes, I have. Terry will say no, uh, because obviously it's a wax, so it won't stick to it. But if you're gentle with it, when you polish it up, I've never had no problems with it. So it's, um, I say yes, Terry says no, but Terry makes it. So obviously Terry knows best, but it's down to the individual's choice, really. Um... Bailey Woodwork said he made a 20-sided dice with resin that he wanted to fill the numbers with gold. Does anyone know what kind of paint would be would be gold and really shiny? That would fill uh, in the recessed numbers. Uh, you could use... Um, have I got gold in here? Yeah. Get on the big camera. Chestnut products. 
do a metallic gold paint, uh, acrylic based. So uh, that will dry nice. Quite a strong colour. Don't know if you can see in the end there. It's quite a strong gold. So uh, there's that one. Or you could buy um, Airfix model paint gold. That's what I would try if you can't get that. So there we got the dress, skirt, jacket, whatever you want to call it. It does look really dark on there, but that's more redder than what it looks on the camera. So I think that's our person done. So I just need to part off the top half and then we'll colour the top half of the hat. Um, Ian in the shed said he's just finding warm clothes to go into the shed. I definitely need to invest in a good heater. Uh -huh. Yes, Neil, I'm veg cutting again. <laughs> Always. Brian at Hartwood Turnins on. Hi, Brian. Um, Colin said to that nail varnish would work. Yeah, that would work. Um, model paint or nail polish. You bit duh, thanks, guys. I would go for a model paint or something because that's quite hard wearing. Oh, oh my foot's stuck. Right, so that's that. Let's just quickly sand this up. I'm just going to sand this up quickly on the linisher. So that's that. Just give that a quick rub around the top to get rid of any furry bits. Camera. Oh, I don't need to. There you go. I've just cleaned that top up there. Got a little bit of splintering, so I'm just going to. Oh, we're paint. looking at the lathe. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, what am I looking for? That's the way I want. So I'm just going to put a bit of colouring on the top of that. That's the only trouble with softwood. You get a little bit of tear out. But um, I can't do nothing about that, unfortunately. Just dropped black stain all over my workstation. Oh my god, god forbid it. Give us a coat black. Yeah, Jappy, I'm chopping veggies. I've done the potatoes, parsnips, and cauliflower. I'm now doing the carrots, which I can't bother to peel, so I'll have to have them with the skin on and washed. So we'll let that dry. While that's drying, we'll do the nose. Yeah, I've got a bit of carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bit big, love. A bit of real carrot. So what I'm going to use for the nose, I've got a piece of elm pen blank here. Um, get rid of this, don't need this no more. So I'm just going to lock this in my chuck. Just find a rough centre. Hasn't got to be perfect, just so we can round it off. So we're going to be a real tiny bit anyway. So, so somewhere there I do. Lift this up. So I'm just going to rough off a... Douglas just said he was going to move three years ago to March or Whiz Beach. Um, he found two places, Whiz Beach had one and a half acres of land. March had two acres, but there's nothing around. Nearest calf was 50. That's Steve's idea of heaven, that is. Yep, nobody around. Perfect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Midnight Joker put hashtag MasterChef food processor for Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads of gadgets, haven't I? Yep. I've, I've probably got stuff that would cut the carrots, but I cut it a bit too thin and then at funny shapes, and I can't cope with that. So whereabouts are you now then, Douglas? Actually, I should cut that, cut that down a bit. I think it's a bit too long. Let's cut that 
down. So get rid of that bit out of there. Don't need that great big bit. Bring that back in. Neighbours are overrated. They always want something. Oh, God, he lives walking on the knees. Oh, we go. All right, so. <laughs> Richard RJK said, lol, Mike, then Nick, but then Nicky would be bored during Steve's life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Right, mm. get the vernier. Get this down to about three mil. <laughs> That's alright, Jackie, don't worry. Yeah, I'm chopping veggies always. Always busy on a Sunday. Whoever said it was a day of rest was clearly a man. That sure ain't in our house. Midnight Joker says he's got a whole cupboard full of gadgets. Most of them used just once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do like them, but yeah. Um, Wood Colin from Wood Wizardry said, very nice, Douglas. I miss Norfolk, but I would move back to Wales if I could. Where does your nephew live? Sorry, Colin. What, in Wales? Douglas Mungham put sous chef for Nicky. <laughs> and Barry's Woodturn, and he's in Essex as well. So, I need to cut that off here. Richard said cookbook for Steve. Jappy said Michelin star for Nikki. Doug Miller just said skew, Steve. Skew, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to do it again because I just... I should have shaped it before I uh, cut the... Um, cut the... Uh, Peg on it. But, you will cook, won't you, baby, if you have to? Yeah, I can cook. I just There's a difference between wanting to cook and having to cook. I think it's just... I made a bit of a rod from my back, didn't I, when we had the girls? Because obviously Steve was at work and I was at home being mum. And I used to always cook. But we used to take it in turns when it was just the two of us. We took some mean steak. He's really good on the barbie. He can cook a roast dinner, but he never times anything, so he can end up with some things cold. Because he never does it in a... So it's all finished at the same time. He's just too I'm not picky. Very, I'm not very good at saying things that, Like, you could say what time is tea, and I'll say half five, then it probably means it'll be ready at six o'clock. But... I like things just so. I was actually thinking you could cook tea tomorrow night. I'm glad you was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you are going to do, because um, the girls want a breakfast on Christmas Day, you're going to cook that because I'm not doing it. I refuse to. But he'll only use one pan, so then he has to keep everything, then he's cold, and then he has to. Try, oh, the, Save on yeah. washing up. So, dishwasher, Steve. We don't need to wash it. Just wondering how big on. Bailey Woodworks is going to watch church with the family now. Thanks, Steve, Nikki, all. Bye, Bailey. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, take care. Have a great day. <laughs> Benjamin said he's been productive during your life. He's just learnt how to braid. <laughs> braid what? Dare I ask? I don't know if I dare ask. <laughs> um, 
Jigsy shed is on. Hi, everyone. Missed most of it, but thought I'd pop in and say hi. Hi, Jigsy. Hi, Jigsy. You probably have got a name. That's John. Um, Barry's Woodturner says he's cooking now. Um, Colin from Wood Wizardry, could you use one of those Linisher sanders as a cheap version of a Pro Edge? Yes, you could. Richard Baird 16 did that. I think that's on his on his um, channel if you go over and watch it. I'm sure he did a video of it. Um, Midnight Joker said, yeah, but Nicky can only handle so much beans on toast. Mm. He does do a mean fried egg. He can do fried eggs. So. Colin says he does all the cooking. <laughs> Robert Dom said, do you look cute, Ben? Yeah, but we just don't want to know. Wait, so what was braided then, Ben? There I ask. Mark Pritchard said he's worked all over the country, but he loves Shropshire. Barry I must said, admit. I must sorry, admit. Just a minute. Barry Woodham said, is that a carbide? Yes, it is. I must admit, I've been all over the country, but I do like living in Norfolk. We, I like living here because we like visiting other places, don't we? We like to travel around the country and see different places. And But we've grown up here, so... Haven't we? Yeah. And my family moved here in 1978, I think. Oh, Would your mum and dad always live here? Whose? Yours. Yeah, my mum's Norfolk. My dad's Norfolk. Because your nan was Yorkshire last, weren't she? Aye. But your granddad was Norfolk, weren't he? Yes, my granddad was Norfolk. Yeah, well, my parents come from Oxford, didn't they? So. Yeah, well, you know, what can I say about that? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, face. as you can see, Done the nose. There's the camera. There. So I'm just going to put a little bit of orange colour dye on that. Barry said he. Barry's wood turn and says he loves Norfolk. Yeah, I love Norfolk. Um, Benjamin said he's making a little wooden Viking gnome. He's going to have Viking hairstyle. Cool. Phew! Thank God you cleared that up. Um, <laughs> what do you expect to say? He's been braiding his hair. I don't know what he was going to say. Right, so... Um, John needs... Mooney said, get a Volvo and see the world, lol. Well, Volvo? <laughs> Volvo? You don't want to travel in style, then? <laughs> <laughs> give up your rangey, would you, babe? Not now. Oh, my. Um, first big good drive we had in it yesterday, so... Mark Preacher said, he's lucky they live in a ham in Hamlet, nice and quiet. Right, let's just get a knife and trim that end off. He's put, Richard said, when were you in Aberdeenshire, Steve? Does he mean you? This one? No, Stanley not. I ain't seen one. Oh, here, this one. Aberdeenshire, a long time, uh, about four years ago. <laughs> so we've been most, you mean, we've been to most places in the country. Jappy's off, he said he's... <coughs> Excuse me, mate and Jappy, have a good day, mate. Paul Lockwood said no, I thought it was a miniature Christmas tree. <laughs> Carrots, they're bumpy, humpy, bumpy. All right, let's do a burnt orange. Douglas said he's worked in the Isle of Wight to Shetlands. There are some really great places in England. What's the Isle? I'd like to go to the Isle of Wight. That's one place we haven't been, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Where's that where your uncle lives? Isle of Sky. Graham. No, no, he's in Scot up in Scotland. <coughs> All right. <That's> little, um... <coughs> Excuse me. There is a little island, they call it an island, but that does get cut off by the water. It just Whoa. juts out of, I can't for the life of me think what it's called. Right, so, what's that? But now we've got rid of the caravan, I don't know where we'll do. Freedom! Right, so let's bring our snowman back, or snow lady, should we say, cool, nearly, snow... Pick a space for her face. 
I think there. Paul Lockwood. Oh, he's in Cumbria. We love Cumbria. Yeah, Cumbria. That's where the first holiday we had with the caravan in Cumbria. Yeah. Oh, Mark Pritchard was a rigger on the power station, so he was oh, all over the place. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, we, we go through Cumbria. We went through Cumbria last year, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, really like Cumbria. So get a three mil drill bit. Because that is around about three mil. Andy H is returning and said, the Isle of Wight is the place that time forgot. I love it. So, Barry's Wood Creations used to live on the Isle of Wight. All right. So I think we're going to go there because of, um, we've got that nice pattern there. So what I'm going to do is roughly there, slow angle down. No, slow angle up, sorry, not down. So I'm just checking the cameras, I don't want to get told off again. Oh, her nose might be a bit big. Oh, that'd be all right. Let's have a look. I can't see it. No, I think that's okay. Look, if you wouldn't go and put a nose on a snowman outside. Oh, it's a bit big. You just shove it in and... All right, calm down. Love wrong channel. Is it orange? Yes, it's orange. <laughs> Looks amazing. Just put a little bit of super glue in the blob of the hole. <laughs> Get a little bit of a twist. We're going to do about size. Yeah, it's a good question. What am I going to do about size? What did you do for the other stream, man? Glitter. No, you didn't, did you? Yeah. Oh. But, Get some coal. But we could leave it like most women in the world. Leave them in the dark. <laughs> Do you want to arrive for your tea? You forget I've got a knife in my hand. Eyes. Um, eyes. What are we going to do for eyes? What about eyes? a bit of coal? Can't you break a bit of coal up? No, Nick. I can't break a bit of coal up. Why not? Useless. Absolutely useless. Jeez. Let's use some black glitter. No. Coal. Coal's eyes, not glitter. Got to be traditional. <laughs> I'll be traditional, right? So... Just can't get the star. <laughs> so let's get a Wooden's got to go. He said, "Nice project, Steve." Thank you very much. Have a great day. So I'll just use a little dollop of wood glue. Have you made the nose orange? Yes, dear. Oh, I can't see it very much. Well, just a little dollop of wood glue. Um, Brian said he uses an orange sharpie. Andy H just said use a sharpie. Got an orange one, you? So one eye. Two eyes. She ain't got a scarf. What's this yellow thing around her neck? Not even a scarf, is it? <laughs> you can't please some people, I tell you. She's got a scarf like the other one. I don't know where that wool is. That would go really well because that's a similar colour. So I'll put a little bit of glitter over them. Getting shot for him for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's give it a few seconds. So if that's a coach, you need some pockets. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. And some buttons. <laughs> You're going to get buttons in a minute. <laughs> So there's the eyes. Mark Pritchard is off. He's going to have his lunch. Enjoy, Mark. See you yeah, soon. Enjoy. As Sean Mooney hear. said, give it a third eye. And Benjamin said, you could braid a scarf, Steve. I don't need to braid when I've got one ear, look, Benjamin. <laughs> so this is... My makeup's run a bit. <laughs> 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 She's been crying. She's melting. <laughs> Like me, I'm crying. Right, mm -hmm. so let's move on to another camera. Oh, that's better. Don't cut it because that's his scarf. Yeah, don't <laughs> cut it. I'm not be able to find the wool. Let me find, uh, let me stand on something so you can see. So there you go. There's my snow lady. What do you reckon? Something a bit different from a snowman. Are you watching the chat? <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, Colin just said he's just had Santa come down the road on a Shire horse drawn carriage. <laughs> but, yeah. So, what do you reckon, guys? I reckon it looks like Yogi Bear. <laughs> hey, hey, boo boo. <laughs> I think it's because that, that, the colour um, isn't very clear. It's not very red, red, is it? No. Should have, I should have used, I think I should have used flame red rather than ruby red. Flame red's more of a, uh, a red red where ruby red is more of a like a burgundy red because on this that looks more like a brown really yeah no it's, it's it should have used a uh, flame but you learn so ian leonard said well done steve benjamin said mr ben in fancy dress as a snowman snow lady snow lady andy h is returning and says very nice steve douglas said steve where's the white edge to the bottom of the dress <laughs> You listen. Sorry, bottom Where's of the dress. Where's the white edge to the bottom of the dress? You just Neil can't Gould please some said, people. Wonderful, well done, Steve. Jigsy said, "said looks great, Steve." Rob C. Pete, awesome work, Steve. Try not says, "I love it." I made so many snowmen, I didn't think about his wife. <laughs> Mike Hugh says, "Nice one, Steve." Ghost Wolf said, "Cool." Midnight Joker, very nice, Steve. Andy H. Turner says, "Matches the jacket." Um. Richard's asking Colin what he's been drinking. John S says, nice one, Steve. Nicky. Georgie Ann said, that's wonderful. Thanks, Steve. Barry's Woodton says, it looks lovely, Steve. Robert Dolman, really nice piece, Steve. Brian at Hartwood said, she's cute. TJ Turner says, looking good. Mark says, looks great, Steve. Um, Circular with by Keith says, good for live, Steve. Well done, Nick. Richard RJK, nice one, Steve. Barry's Wood Creations, very good, Steve. Doug Miller, nice. Douglas Mungham, where's the Christmas funnel? Lol. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone else you can read it. <laughs> That's it for me. All right. Thank you guys for all the nice comments. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Glad you enjoyed it. Like I say, it's just something different. And like I say, I watched a few videos online this week, and uh, a lot of people have done snowmen, so I thought I'd do something different and do a snow lady. I think you should put your snowman that you did last year next to her. I can't. He's over here. You've took your scarf off now. He's cold. Mm -hmm. Where's his hat? <sighs> Blow the dust off of it. So this is the one I did last year. I did this. I think it's a... on your intro. No, actually it worked last year. It was the year before, I think. It's on your intro, I think. Is it? So let's just wipe the dust off him. This came into the workshop at the end of last Christmas to be repaired because his hat had um, fallen off. Because his hat should be on the skew whiff. Like that. Don't stay on very well, does it? No, let me put it on the other camera. It's better with the other camera. So his hat should be on like that. But because I put his hat on <laughs> after I waxed him, um, it doesn't stick very well. So I need to take a little bit of wax off of it and just glue it back on. But obviously that's the scarf. This is the scarf off of this snowman, which is a piece of wool. So, uh, yeah. But this is it, a focus one. Brent said, nice idea, great job. John Mooney said, show me your veg, Nicky, I need some inspiration. I've only done carrots, bro uh, cauliflower, parsnips and potatoes at the moment. Um, Colin I said, the pine works well with the snow woman. Greg Alexander, well done, Steve. Co Wood no, Colin from Wood Wizardry said, makes a change from the normal. Douglas Mungham, great job, Steve and Nicky. Mike, you must go. Thanks, Steve, Nicky. Good afternoon all. Bye, Mike. See you later, Mike. Um, Barry's wood creations would look great with a tea light in the top. Um, Brian said, oh, that's a good idea. Stick a dowel in it. Off yeah. his hat. Yeah. Good idea, Steve, a drill a hole for a dowel for the yeah. hat. Hodgepodge, need the baby snow people and the family snow dog. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been good. I enjoyed that. Very it's been good. good. Glad you enjoyed, guys. So let's come back onto camera. So thank you very much for coming over. Thank you very much for joining myself and Nick for another Lunchtime Live. Hope you've enjoyed. Yep, it's been good. Thank you very much for all the marvellous comments. You know, I'm just so glad that you, you guys enjoy what I do. And uh, hopefully we keep you entertained. So, um, who have we got today? Right, I'm going to shoot off and okay. say goodbye to everybody and um, chat all to you again next Sunday. Take care. Bye. Yeah, yeah I'll turn these off. Just turn our heads off. Right, so um, 
I don't know if there's any lives this afternoon. I know someone's got a, a hodgepodge has got a premiere tonight at six o'clock, I believe, or six thirty. So make sure you go check out Hodgepodge. Make sure you go over and subscribe to uh, I think it was Doug's new channel. So make sure you go over and send him some love and subscribe to his channel. And um, we will see you next time. So um, we've got Popcast in, uh, Makers International tonight, and then JP, and then Caitlin the Cat. Monday dinner time will be uh, Wayne the Gentleman Woodturner. No, not the Wayne. Wayne the Gentleman. <laughs> Wayne the Woodturner, and then I believe Monday night, um, Mark's got a live as well. So, uh, Mark, if you're still in the chat, do you want to chuck your um link for tomorrow night in the chat before we go? Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what Mark's doing tomorrow night, but I'm sure I'll be saying interesting. Um, but other than that, um, I won't be live Thursday lunchtime. I don't know if Keith's got a live Tuesday lunchtime, I haven't heard whether he's got his PC up and running yet. So um, if obviously if he has, then Keith will be doing a live Tuesday lunchtime. Uh, Rich Beard 16 has got a live Tuesday night. Uh, Wednesday lunchtime, I believe, is Nick the Flaming Turner. Wednesday night will be Wayne the Wood Turner. Thursday, um, I'm not able to do a live this week at lunchtime. Um, if someone wants to take it, then they are more than welcome. Um, but I have a video going up Thursday at one o'clock anyway. And then Friday lunchtime, we have um, Wayne the Woodturner. And then Friday night, we'll be back for um, another live quarter to eight. And we'll have a special guest airworm in this week. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Um, you'll have to come over and see. So, um, and then um, back to Saturday. I'm not sure if Saturday. Don't know if Ed Oliver's on Saturday. I'm not. I'm not. I can't keep up with everybody. There's so many lives on at the moment. It's just unreal to try and keep up. So uh, Mark's put a couple of links in there. So let's just see. I think one's for Mark's channel. Um, let's have a look. This one is for Mark's live, I believe. Oh no, Doug Miller's spinning round wood or spun wood. So make sure you go over and subscribe to Doug Miller's um, channel. Show him some love. Um, let's support him and get him up to 100 subs like we have everybody else. And then what was the other one Mark's put in? Oh, what's going on here? I've lost it now. Uh, I think that might be for his channel, for his live. I don't know, but we'll see. So Mark's put a couple of links in there. So um, you'll be able to see what's going on. And uh, I'll see you guys in the chat. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for coming over. Take care. Speak to you soon. And bye for now. Have a great day. Take care. That's all, folks.